polygon on the daily chart. We got a nice little pullback over here. We're looking for some issue support. I'm looking at the history of this chart, looking for other pullbacks that are similar in dollar amount. I'm going to start to map out my symmetry support, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, projecting to that new recent high with my trend based FIB extension. One more time over here, pivot high, pivot low, projecting to that new recent high. Next, I can use my Fibonacci retracements. I'm going to click from that pivot low to pivot high. From here, we do have a 50% retracement that is in conjunction with the simulation support work that we just did. Now, there's nothing to be done on this chart. This is what we call stalking a potential support area, potential area support. I'm looking for price to continue to sell off into this three price relationship. From here, I like to see a price can bounce from here on a 15 minute time frame. Taking a quick look on the hourly chart, it's important for us to examine if price is trading above or below that 200 moving average. And right now you can see price is trading below that 200. So we know on our way back up, it's gonna be met with resistance on the way back up. There's nothing to be done on this chart until price starts to sell off into our three price relationship. We do have a 200 moving average on the daily chart that it may be supporting price structure going forward, but we don't know that just yet. Just be patient with this one. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now, hit that notification button. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area, and I'll talk to you soon.